Who doesn't love money? I sure as hell do. Let's talk about that. Quick announcement, this took me a lot of time to research, script, record and compile so subscribing for more content would be amazing and it would help you out loads. And be sure to like and comment what you liked best and what you thought I missed. Without the way, let's dive in. Money is by far one of the most or the most important thing in Skyblock. But there are hundreds if not thousands of ways to make money within Skyblock. And some are more efficient than others. First off, which may be very obvious, is minions. Players not wanting to grind hardcore into the game could still be possible as a result of minions. You could with the correct method make millions per day using minions. Beginners make about 20,000 coins from minions a day and end games could make upwards of 20 million coins. Secondly, we could get into the life of foraging. Early game players should be doing this. The equipment required for this would be farmer boots for speed, an efficiency 5 golden pickaxe, and slash or a jungle axe. And then optional, but it would help out loads and I recommend it, is a haste 3 potion, which is easy to make. Beforehand, you should check the bazaar to see which logs are going for the best price. But usually dark oak is the best because you can just sprint around taking down huge trees and logs, compared to the least favourable ones which is like acacia. Next method is flipping. Wrong one. Flipping is when you buy an item and sell for a profit. Big or small flipping can give you loads of money. Or practically no profit depends on what you go for. I've made two videos on this, check both of those out. Don't worry, the entire video won't be linking videos of mine. Another one which covers a broad area is farming. Along with the Jacobs contest, which could make you about 25,000 per 20 minutes for beginners, Endgame players could be making at least a million if they sell their collections and winnings afterwards. This is definitely a good one. Another type of farming would be cobblestone generators. This method could make you about 300,000 per hour. This isn't a great money making method, but it's really easy as all you have to do is mine above you and walk forwards the entire time. That money doesn't really change whether you're in endgame or early game. But if you do want to see how to make a cobblestone generator, then please check the link in the description, I made a video on it a while back. Mob grinding is amazing, there are multiple ways you can do that. But nothing gives you as much money as zealots. Sorry if that annoys you, the most generic thing that a YouTuber would say is, hey, grind zealots. But the truth is, is you can't avoid it, and I'll tell you why. Don't be the type of person to type in weak flex, or I bet you won't place more when someone places one eye. And don't be the type of guy who gets into full endgame armor and claps a superior in like 15 seconds. Not cool, but with this method it can make you lots of money. So if you haven't got to that part in the game, then I highly suggest getting that far. On the basis of zealots in the end, doing dragons is pretty much a huge gamble. Make sure to do dragons if you know for sure you'll be highest on the leaderboard. This is very luck based as you can get anything as devastating as an old or holy dragon. Or you can be blessed with something like a strong or superior. Fishing. Water sport. Pretty much all fishing is good, minus island fishing. Don't do it. Instead, go somewhere like the park or the winter island when it is open. Or you could even island hop from the spider den. This is wildly RNG based, sort of like the other things on this list. But you could definitely make loads within an hour from straight fishing. This may not be the most enjoyable thing that you could be doing for an hour, but yet again, back in the day, I managed to somehow conjure up 24 hours on fishing planet. Upgrading pets, whether you made the pets yourself or you bought low level ones. In the auction house, you could grind up those pets and sell them back for more. For example, a level 1 griffin pet goes for about 50k, and getting the rarity up to uncommon or rare could get you quite the amount of money back, but it is very hard work, and probably not worth it like the others. But you could definitely do pet flipping while doing other money making methods on this list. Slayers could also make you money, depending on the drops. So you're cool, but a profit wouldn't always be an outcome. Dungeons? Well, well, well. I haven't got this far yet myself. Some friends of mine have made quite the amount of money doing runs in dungeons. It's all pretty much dependent on the loot you get. Don't worry about things like floor 7. You should be able to make enough money just doing floor 1. So pretty much this entire video is based on the fact you should just avoid things like duping and IRL trading that could get you banned, unlike these healthy alternatives. I hope this was helpful to all of you, and if you think that there are better money making methods, and there always is, 
then be sure to drop it in the comments if you want to share. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and comment. And if you want to see more content that could help you out in your skyblock endeavors, then be sure to subscribe. It's been your boy Pomegranate, and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.